Uh, hello everyone. So um, the KNH Diabetic team together with uh, Acquire uh, was able to work on uh, improving diabetic screening at KNH clinic by use of the in-laws uh, 60 seconds tool. So we uh, established that diabetic food is one of the most common and costly complications of diabetes and uh, patients who we follow up at the clinic have up to 34% lifetime risk of uh, diabetes food complication and with the increase in prevalence of diabetes in Kenya we are concerned about this complication uh, for our patients and we are hoping to improve uh, the screening for the food complications. The team that was involved in this was a very large team. This is just a small section, including clinicians, including our uh, podiatrists, uh, diabetic nurses, health information team, clinical officers, as well as uh, the pharmacy uh, team that uh, works within the clinic. Our target during this time was to increase screening for uh, diabetic food from below 5% to 30% of all patients attending at the clinic over three months using the in-law 60 seconds tool. So as you can see from baseline, we had a below 5% uh, screening and the target to be attained would need to be screening 40 patients in a week. We tried to understand why we were not uh, screening. Some of the issues were personnel are related, such as low staff numbers, lack of training. Some people would say they're not comfortable screening, as well as empowerment of the staff. And some of client factors, such as when the number of patients was uh, very large, and uh, when they had uh, issues with poor glycemic control, so they have other complications to be attended to, meaning screening may not be done. Uh, process issues, such as issues with the uh, flow of patients within the clinic, material issues such as whether or not the tools uh, such as monofilaments are available, as well as the number of uh, printed in those tools within the clinic. So what interventions did we do? We uh, provided monofilaments, provided the in-laws tools that were printed, and we sensitized all staff within the clinic on the need for screening. The staff reported increase in awareness for food screening, and also there was improving access for the tools for food screening. So as you can see in the chart, initially there was an increase as the in-laws tools were provided and monofilaments were provided and staff were trained, the number of percentage of patients screened for diabetic food increased significantly from the 0.03 up to about 0.63 uh, in terms of the percentage of patients screened. As we continued to monitor the number of patients screened, there were weeks when we would have fewer staff as well as fewer registrars, the students in training. So the numbers of uh, those that were uh, screened would dip, but uh, we continued to keep uh, trying to encourage and empower the people involved in clinic uh, to continue uh, with the screening. So with the increase in the patient screened during this time, we noted that uh, some key lessons were learned. One, staff empowerment was key because it wasn't only the clinicians who could screen, the nurses could also be involved in screening podiatrists. So everyone could be involved so long as they're empowered. And investing in provision of tools for food screening was also beneficial. We would wish to thank uh, the acquire team as well as the KNH management for their support in this endeavor. This was a very useful um, period for the clinic. Thank you.